All my kids have been fabulously wealthy. Right. The closest thing now it's gone. There is a line here at Toys R Us. It's about almost midnight. This is for Force Friday, the release of the toys for the new movie. Now, we live in a small college town, so don't be surprised at how small the line is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, spirited people. You said you had a podcast. I have that shirt. It's a good shirt. It is. You have a podcast. What's it about? Uh, we deal with nerd stuff. Nerd stuff. Uh, movies, games, uh, lots of games. Gotcha. My cards messed up, but on that one, but you can have it. How's that? Yeah, it's uh, Father Gamer. We're on Cinelinks. Gotcha. So, uh, my YouTube channel is Bad Grindles. Bad Grindles. Okay. Yeah, shoot, shoot me something. We're actually trying to build a group here to uh, promote that kind of stuff in our area. So, gotcha. So I would absolutely. Shouldn't it be what? Tomo pause. No. We got Darth BB here. She's dressed up for the event, <laughs> as well as some people up front. I'm gonna walk up front and see if they will talk to me. Uh oh. First in line, Jedi. Yeah. That's how I play. Everyone else is just wearing t shirts. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> well, I'm wearing a t shirt too. Come on. I didn't put. You don't even have the right kind hey, of t shirt. This is Guardians it's of the Galaxy Star Wars mashup. and Star Wars mashup. It's the only thing hey, I got. I'm a college, man. I'm a college. Gotcha. Right. Hey, Ross dress for less. Star Wars t shirts under $5. You're right. Where do you think I'm going to be tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> if there's any or, left. If there's a local, You're if right. you can find a five below, they have a lot of cool Star Wars shirts for $5. I want this one. Though. This is $8.44 at Walmart. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> This was fifteen dollars at Disneyland. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Freaking di me. It's, it's the it's the mouse five dollar yeah. Maca. <laughs> exactly. That's what it was. <laughs> so how long you been waiting? Oh, uh, we got here about 9 45, 10 o'clock somewhere in there. Yeah. Yeah. 10, 10, 30. So how long are you gonna wait? How early are you gonna get for the movie tickets? Uh, oh, the second be they come out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when they come out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's what my wife's afraid of with me too. Yeah. <laughs> Blockbuster comes out. Exactly. They're opening the door, so I'm gonna get back in my place in line. <laughs> Have fun. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> We're all waiting in line. We're all excited. We get to come in and see stuff. This is a Some people bring their phones. I bring a professional grade video camera. <laughs> Isn't that bad? My video guy. Well, this isn't really professional grade, but it's kinda. I don't know. Ask them. They will know. They will know. He's the new bad guy. You can count on that. And everyone goes running through the store looking for stuff. Hi, all doing today? Not too bad. Hi, how y'all doing? Here's your Lego piece, and here's yours, and there's your toy guy, so you can get to look around, all right? Okay, thank you. They're giving us oh, stuff. a Furby? A, a Furby. Furby. Yeah, oh it's Furbaka. There's a Furbaka. All right, let's go walking and see what we can find. Now, I'm not in a huge hurry to get anything. I just came to look. Bibi here, she wants a Furbaka. That I know. And people get here really fast to look. Oh wow, crowded aisle, crowded aisle. Put the camera up where we can see everything. <laughs> security. Yeah. Have to have security as Star Wars people might be bad. <laughs> yeah, look at listen to the music. I'm hearing it. I know what it says. I don't have a big score, but what I do have is the new X Wing. 
the new TIE Fighter. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and of course, the Millennium Falcon. And we're gonna take a look up here and see some of the stuff. Now that the crowd's abated, so I can actually maneuver through here. I would like to have the Bluetooth speaker. I don't know what the sound quality's like, though. We got a lightsaber clock. We got Boba Fett. We got an alarm clock. Nah, no, BB, it would have been okay there. Walkie talkies, headphones, a Nerf gun, lots of bags. And up here, we have the Star Wars. Let, uh, Hot Wheels. I'm getting too many emails while I'm in Toys R Us. <laughs> Things that come apart. Salt troopers. Oh, sorry. The action figures. Yeah, I chose that one for him. Already have five cases of those. I don't need more. <laughs> The new ones. The stuff I'm interested in is over here. Supposedly, this flies really well. I see it. It's foam. I see how they're flying it. Millennium Falcons will fly. The chess set. You like the chess set, BB? Yeah? Huh? You don't know? Okay, we got watches. And this, we didn't even go to the Lego aisle. Okay, everyone, you saw the earlier footage of us at Toys R Us. Now, let me show you what we got. I got the Black Series, Titanium Series, and I got one, two, three, and four for the new movie. Number one, of course, you are seeing right here is the Millennium Falcon. Now, this is the uh, new movie, Force Awakens version. You can tell by the radar dish. Radar dish is not the radar dish from the earlier movies. Okay, I'm trying to keep the glare off this. See, number one. And here's the back side, the Millennium Falcon. And it says a few things in many different languages. I'm not going to open the box because the box is really nice and neat, and I'd rather not open the box. If I find out in a few months that this is worth nothing, I'm going to open that box. You can bet on it. It has a nice little display stand in there, if you can see it. So here's number one, the Millennium Falcon. It's, well, if it's a Millennium Falcon we all know and love, it's not real well done. But for a miniature, it's kind of nice. Up next is number two, which would be the X-Wing. Okay. Now, this is the movie version of the X-Wing. I don't know if the wings open and close. I wouldn't know unless I opened a box, but it looks like they will open and close. I have to be careful, and I look through a couple of them before I pick these up, because of the laser cannons. A lot of them are bent right and left, and it looks funny. And Well, you can see these two are bent off from each other. But this was one of the best ones on the shelf. And here's the back of the box. And there's all four sides of the X-Wing from the new movie. Now, it's different from the normal X-Wing. Look at those intakes. Those intakes are much larger than the X-Wing we all know and love. Okay, up next is number three. Okay. This is a command shuttle. Uh, 
and from the look of it to say box those wings extend so if you open the box they're going to extend way up high so it's got some really big wings on it i don't know if they fold down like they do in the movie but i got it because well there were only two of them in the whole store and i got one of the two there was a guy there and his girlfriend who helped me a lot with this they got one and i said well if there's another one and they said yeah right there so i got one okay and like i said if i find out they're not worth anything the box will get opened but it's such a nice lovely box i don't want to open a beautiful box like this and we're up to the last one i didn't go crazy and buy the complete set could have just didn't this last one is the tie fighter from the new movie okay it's got a nice pattern on those heat panels I called them solar panels but they're really heat panels and it says first order special forces tie fighter it's number four in the series okay Now, they had the land speeders, and they had a bunch of the original stuff. They had Y-Wings, X-Wings, and a bunch of other in the series. I just wanted to get the ones that were specific to the new movie. I just didn't get the land speeder, and that's the only one I didn't get. I'll probably regret that later, to be honest with you. But, hey, that's what it is. I got the first four. Hope you hope everyone enjoyed taking a look at them. I could I could do this with the other ones. So here's the TIE Fighter. Get a better look at what's in the box. Let's move it over to the command shuttle. Now remember any model kits that come out will be much better than these are. That's for sure. I've already seen photos of the upcoming Bandai release for this, which is in October. Outstanding compared to what I see from Revel. All right, so the Bandai release is going to be much better than the Revel one. And the last one, the Millennium Falcon. Up close and personal. And there you have it, the Black Series. Hope you enjoyed the video. It was fun going. Bye. Darth BB, are you excited? Yes. You should talk. <laughs> Are you hot in that thing? <laughs> no. No. <laughs>